It takes place in the Bantamweight division and features two guys with but a single loss between them. James Gordon Smith and Joshua, don't blink, Greer Jr. 22-year-old Joshua Greer Jr. Been a pro for almost a year and a half now. He's fought 13 times so far. Tonight, he moves up to the scheduled eight-round distance for the very first time. Although the Chicago native uses quickness as his ticket to success, Greer knocked an opponent out in 24 seconds in one of his early professional fights. That earned him the nickname, Don't Blink. He prepared for this fight by sparring with Adrian Granados, who was getting ready for his fight with Adrian Broner. So that's a look at Joshua Greer Jr. And Steve, let's go behind the numbers with him. Well, for Joshua Greer, Barry, we start with well-timed jump. Greer's advancing from six rounders to his first scheduled eight rounder, and he's doing so with some momentum. He fought no less than eight times in 2016, and he won them all more than half. Comparing quality of opposition, more than half of Greer's bouts have come against opponents with winning records. In contrast, only two of Smith's 11 opponents have been winners. And soft hands, the KO numbers don't lie. Greer has only four KOs in 13 fights. When you've repeatedly gone the distance against entry-level opposition, you're usually not much of a puncher. Pretty loosey-goosey coming into this fight, too. James Gordon Smith, born and raised here in Detroit. He had an amateur career of nearly 120 fights. That included a National Golden Gloves bronze medal. Gordon Smith undefeated as a professional. He stopped half of his opponents. He has been brought along rather slowly, though. Just 12 fights over a six-plus year professional career. He, too, has not gone past six rounds in any of his fights to date. Gordon Smith is a pressure fighter who says, I'm not here to look pretty. I am here to hurt people. I'm going to be the one swinging from bell one to the end of the fight. And he's dressed for the occasion. Steve, let's go behind the numbers with James Gordon Smith. Well, the blue Bantamweight is a big Bantamweight. Smith is the naturally bigger fighter. He's been 119 for his last two bouts, but early in his career, he fought as high as 130. Inching along, for a fighter who turned pro back in 2011, Smith should have advanced further by now. A 25-month layoff from 2013 to 2015 really slowed him down. And bad boy, Smith is from Detroit, Greer is from Chicago. Memories of Isaiah Thomas versus Michael Jordan back in the day. But this one is being played in Motown, so advantage Smith. He looks something like a cross between a hockey goalie and Picasso. <laughs> All right, that's the setup for our first fight of the evening. This four-fight showbox card. James Gordon Smith, Joshua Greer Jr., Bantamweights scheduled for eight rounds. Let's get to the center of the ring for the first time tonight. The introduction of the fighters. Here is our ring announcer, Pete Trevino Jr. Pete. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the event center here at MGM Grand Detroit for Showbox the New Generation. Brought to you by Salida Promotions in association with MGM Grand Detroit and Showtime. All of this evening's matchups have been sanctioned under the auspices of the State of Michigan Unarmed Combat Commission. Now introducing the three judges scoring ringside. First, from Copley, Ohio, Ben Rochester. From New York, New York, Waleska Ralden. And from Detroit, Michigan, Ansel Stewart. And the man in the middle of the fight responsible for keeping it clean and fair is referee Harvey Dock. The following contest is scheduled for eight rounds in a Bantamweight division, introducing your fighters. First, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the red trunks trimmed in silver. Standing five feet four inches tall, he weighed in at 116 and three quarter pounds. He comes to the ring with a record of 11 wins, one loss and one draw, with four of those wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, ladies and gentlemen, here is Joshua Don't Blink Greer Jr. His opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. 
wearing the blue trunks trimmed in gray and silver. Standing five feet three inches tall, he weighed in at 116 and three quarter pounds. He comes to the ring undefeated with a record of 11 wins, no losses, and one no contest. With six of those wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of and representing the Motor City, Detroit, Michigan. Ladies and gentlemen, here is O.G. James Gordon Smith. And now referee Harvey Doc with your fight instruction. Okay guys, we went over the instructions already. Remember, obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Good luck to you, come out at the back. These two almost went at it at the press conference earlier this week. We take a look at the numbers. Interesting that both of these Bantamweights weighed in at the lightest of their respective careers. In fact, look at Greer, 116 and three quarters, three pounds lighter than he's ever been. The rules here are the unified rules, no standing eight count, no three knockdown rule, only the ref can stop the fight. You can aim to be saved by the bell in any round, and if there's an accident, the foul that brings a stoppage before the end of round four, no decision. After that, we go to the cards for a technical decision. Barry. All right, with that, we are set to go. Long night of boxing here in Detroit. Interesting, I ran into people from both these guys' corners just before we went on the air, and they both said it's going to be a short fight. So we'll see. Well, their styles, yes. They, they, they come right at their opponents, especially uh, James Gordon Smith. Double left hand from Greer. And of course, you got to remember uh, they're fighting on TV. They're, this is Showtime. This is Showbox. So there's a lot of pressure for these young up-and-coming prospects. Sometimes they, they get too over anxious and tend to make mistakes. A lot of punches and a lot of punches connecting early in this fight. Good chopping right hand. I think that definitely got Gordon Smith's attention. Gordon Smith, amateur experience. He fought in the National Golden Gloves in 07, 08, and 09. 60 amateur fights for Greer, but nothing at the national level. And pro experience, you see James Gordon Smith turned pro way before, but has only one less fight. Smith bringing the fight, but taking the most punishment in this first round. Yes, yeah, Smith said he wanted to see how Greer takes big shots. Well, he hit him with big shots already. He took him pretty well, and he came back with some big shots of his own. So, Gordon Smith, he knows he's in a fight now. Pretty effective round, actually, for both guys. I think Greer probably a little busier of the two. Greer clearly wants to counterpunch. Good left hand there by Gordon Smith. Right hand of the body, and another left hand of the body by Smith. Both good shots. I think Greer a little bit tighter with his defense. You see his frame defense keeping his hands up, elbows in. You see uh, Gordon Smith a little bit too wild. Greer just using the ring more, controlling the range, the distance. Nice movement there by him, lead, lead right hand. And he's making a miss too. Sneaky little uppercut by Greer. Uh oh, he's trying to showbox now. <laughs> These guys are fighting. Show Good oh. body shot. Wow. They, Gordon Smith. They are winging it, guys. Yeah, they are. And you know, when you're scheduled to fight at this, you've never fought at before, which these guys are both from six-round fighters. This intensity early could be, make stamina a big factor later on. Combination from Gordon Smith. Gordon Smith wins the last part of the round. Greer wins the first part of the round. So who won the round? <laughs> I give up. Come up, keep him up. Could be decided in the last 15 seconds here. Another good right hand from Gordon Smith. They both had their moments here. Heck of a round. Talk to both guys about what they need to do first. Here's James Gordon Smith. He can't punch his way out of wet paper bag. And I, I can punch. And I, that's going to be my biggest attribute, as, basically as a small guy, is that I can punch. And then I, I'm always in tremendous shape, and I let my hands go. And if I get them hurt, oh, I'm going to keep punching. That's the last, yeah, all my coaches know, I, I'm going to let my hands go. So that's, we don't never have to worry about that.
He's a come for a fire, make a lot of mistakes, and I'm going to capitalize on every mistake that he make and um, put pressure on him and break him, break him down. See Greer looking to counterpunch the whole time, looking to make Smith's aggressiveness work against him, and he landed a really nice right uppercut there coming out of the corner. So we cover the second round, very entertaining first round. This fight scheduled for eight rounds. First time both these guys have gone that distance or have been scheduled for that distance. Barry, you said entertaining. They landed a combined 58 punches. That's entertaining. Most of them powerful punches, right? I mean, that's that's a heck of a lot of punches landed for a first round. It is. And as you said, neither of these guys has gone the scheduled distance. Good right hand from Greer. Yeah, Greer's really being smart in there. He's uh, capitalizing, like you said, on Gordon Smith's mistakes. Oh, nice counter again there by that was. Greer. He keeps catching them. I was caught on the gloves. Combinations again by Gordon Smith, but Greer doing a pretty good job off the ropes. A lot of those punches of Gordon Smith were either deflected on the gloves or caught on the gloves. Yeah, he was really focusing. He was blocking a lot of the shots that landed uh, on his uh, shoulders or gloves, like you said, Barry. And I keep telling you, he's, he's just a smarter fighter in there so far. And that's why when he... Oh, good right hand. Sharp right hand from Greer. And another one. And that hurt Gordon Brown or Gordon Smith. Why do I have a sneaking suspicion? That Gordon Smith's the kind of fighter that if he gets hurt, he's just going to play bombs away. Uh, of course. He's not taking the safe route. And that's where he makes the mistake. Another, oh, another big right hand. And a good body shot and a right hand sailed over the head of Gordon Smith. Gordon Smith is too anxious. He's, he's making a big mistake by standing in there and trading blow by blow with, uh, with Greer. Did slip a left uppercut in there. And a slapping left hand. And another counter right. And that's been the weapon for Greer so far. This fight has been exactly as advertised. Look at Gordon Smith's weight. He's on his front leg. I think he's hurt. I think he's he's dazed. Well, he slowed down. He's no doubt. Him. Yeah. He, he's stumbling. Good stop, body stop, shot, but it's straight keep low. Keep Keep those punches up. But you know Let's what? Go. He needs to do more of that. He's been missing upstairs. He's got to pound the body more, especially when he has Greer against the ropes. He did it in the first round. There's a good right hand again. It almost knocked him sideways. Now he's hurt. Another left hand. And an uppercut just a little short. Gordon Smith trying to fight back. Greer covering up right now. Smith against the ropes. Beautiful counters by Greer. Really looking up, for, looking for the openings as Gordon Smith keeps opening up. He did stagger him a moment ago, but Gordon Smith seems okay now. It's a war. Time. Listen, listen. Now, hey, get put it on his head. No, hug your back. Take that breath. Okay, oh, guess what he's doing? Motherfucker throwing the hook and catch you with the right hand. So what you're doing is, Red, what you're doing is, what you're doing is you're doing this. So he's throwing the hook right hand. So look, side back. Keep, listen, keep motherfucker jabbing this guy, Red. Listen. Box. The right hand has been the weapon of choice for Greer. Right there taking advantage of the fact you see that Gordon Smith's left hand was a little low there. And Gordon Smith tried to ro ride with the punch, you know, all week long. Well, let's look at the deep corner. Say something, don't blow your nose. Say something. Deep Listen, you're doing real good. You got to stay focused. Don't get into fighting his fight. Keep fighting your fight. Your jab will work. So we come to round three of this eight round fight. Big second round, I thought, for Greer. Yeah, he definitely won that one. All week long. Gordon Smith has been making fun of Greer, saying he can't punch, can't break the paper bag. Well, well, this might not come down to power, it might come down to chin. Well, it's certainly, yeah. not, certainly not coming down to a paper bag. <laughs> There's a right hand from Gordon Smith. 
Warren Smith is walking in with his hands down at times. It's not giving him any movement. He's walking straight into Greer's counter punches. Counter punches. He's to give him some head movement. Yeah, and a little, little lazy with bringing that left hand back. And he's been there for that right hand counter punch from Greer. There it was again. Good body shot from Greer and a left hand to the head. Gordon Smith is wide open again, keeping that chin up high in the air. Not good. Go. Another combination drives Gordon Smith into the ropes. We talk about chins. Both of these fighters have been down. As a matter of fact, Griff's been down twice. Gordon Smith fighting with his mouth open a little bit now. A little blood coming from the mouth as well. Well, if you pay attention to body language, it's in favor of Greer, no doubt about yes. that. And look at the percentage of power punches from Greer. We all know that when you power punch at about a 50% success rate, you almost always win the fight. That kind of right hand has been there for him the whole fight. And the reason for that, when, when Gordon Smith punches, he doesn't bring his left hand back, as you guys pointed out earlier. Yeah. We're talking to Gordon Smith now. Tell you what, in this round, it looks like Greer's footwork is starting to slow down a little bit. See him more stationary. And really, that's not his fight. I mean, he's, he's got he's to do both, come forward and box. Use that jab, control that range with the jab. There he goes. Right hand again. He's going to catch Gordon Smith coming in. I mean, he don't come in with no head when he's straight in. Well, there's a combination from Gordon Smith. Yeah, he's... He came back in this round. Certainly the busier of the two here in this round. Left hand from Greer. There was that right hand. He just missed with it a little bit. Okay, you're winning this fight, but you got to stay focused on what it is you're doing, okay? Just got to keep that jab. Don't leave with that right hand unless you know you got him right there, okay? okay. Keep the jab in front of his face. Open up your mouth a little bit more. You need to breathe a little bit more. Get some relax. You got to go there and do this thing again. Look, this guy is too slow for you, too slow. Now don't get careless with him. All you got to do is set him up for the counter with an uppercut. He's wide open for your hook, you understand? Okay. So, but pay attention to what you're doing in there. Don't stand in the square position, okay? Okay. okay. Don't get square with him. Use your jab, and use two hands when you go with combination. Go back to the body. Okay. Okay? You, you know, you're scoring good, but I need you to score more. We're in his backyard. Let's go. Second jab. Let's go, second jab. Let's go, let's go, right corner. Well, Steve, I, th I thought some pretty sage advice in Greer's corner. George Fernandez, one of the top uh, handlers of boxers in Chicago. We saw him with Adrian Granados, who's in the house tonight. But uh, an interesting point, did he tell his fighter too much? As a fighter, Raul, can you be overloaded with instruction? You, Absolutely, you don't remember yes. any of it, right? Absolutely. I mean, uh, I think the right thing to do with me as a fighter to tell you one or two things, at three at the most, but when you're just keep talking and keep talking and changing things. I mean, you're going to confuse the fighter. Nice combination from Gordon Smith. Greer shakes his head no, but in the meantime, he took three, four, five punches. Well, look, Gordon Smith is really coming back. Now you see him giving them some head movement when he comes in. That, that's where he makes a mistake. He keeps backing up with his hands down and chin up in the air, and he's open for Greer's counters. I think it's safe to say Gordon Smith's coming on a little bit, but when he gets hit, I don't know if it's bad balance or what it is. It's it's more there goes like visible, yes. yeah. like that, to the judges because he is always off balance. Yeah. Yeah. He every time they hit him, he really stumbles back, like he's gonna go down, but he comes right back. It's not like a bubble hit, you know. Yeah. That comes right back.
But you're right, in the eyes of the judges. What I'm looking for is, Gordon Smith, is he slowing down? Or is there less on his punches? Remember, he's never been the scheduled eight, and the pace of this fight has been very fast. It has been, although I don't see Greer being quite as busy as he was either. And I, I think Gordon Smith is, is getting better as the rounds go. I had him losing the first two rounds, and I think he came back in the third round. I think he's he's winning this round so far. Yeah, I'd say this is his best round so far. Not much response from Greer in this round. Lunge with that shot. Orangeman needs to go in the pocket and really work the body, dig to the body right now, because I see, I see Greer fading. I see him tired. Or that, that's good body shot. Yeah. He says, don't give him some more. Yeah, look at Greer coming forward. Yeah, he's staying in the pocket. He's tired. There's a combination of Greer, the right hand missed. But you saw Gordon Smith give him some movement. He made it, some of the punches missed. Again, that counter right hand, a double right hand, and once again, Gordon Smith falls into the ropes. Good last 10 seconds for Greer, but I don't think it was enough to win the round. And since this is an eight rounder, we're at halftime. Jab's not much of a factor in this fight, although Smith has tried to make them a factor. The power punches, 48% for Greer. That tells you what you need to know an advantage of 21 punches. And the body punches, both have been very busy to the body. I said Smith needed to do that. He's done it well, and he's definitely back in this fight. Very much so. There we see uh, Smith, by the looks of it so far. I think he's in better shape, and I think he's to apply more pressure, get more in the pocket, get closer, close that range, give him some hard shots to the body, and just let his combinations go. Now for Greer, he needs to use control the range, the distance with his jab and counter punch more. That's what's got, got him the first two rounds, so I like to see more of that. And don't stay in front of Smith so much. So we pass the halfway point. Gordon Smith comes out with a combination. Uppercut oh. drops him. <laughs> and he's in some trouble. You all right? Yeah. Step over here. All right, good. And a long way to go in this round. Right hand. And another right hand, and another right hand, and he's in big trouble. Greer jumps him. Combination's a headbutt in the middle of all that. Greer smothering his own power. He's got to show a little discipline here. Another chopping right hand. You're right. This is with a left too long. Right hand gets there, but caught partially on the gloves, and he lays in. Gordon Meese needs to hold on. Long way to go. Still two minutes to go in the round. He already lost this round. Smith needs to uh, hold on, run, move, hold, recuperate, catch, get his balance together. Uppercut from Greer. Don't push him down. Again, Don't Greer getting too close. Yep. Chopping right hand. And again, he crowds him. Not enough follow-up to the body from Greer. This is just kind of inexperience wearing it's ugly head here. And fatigue to a degree. Yeah, yeah. Not much pop on Gordon Smith's punches either right now. What do you think? You think Gordon Smith's got one last comeback left in him? Maybe. He's game. Let's go. Yeah, it looks like he's coming back, and I think that maybe Greer outpunched himself in this round, trying to get him out of there. Good body shot. And a left hand upstairs from Gordon Smith. Look at, look at Greer not trying to crowd him. Oh, he's, really, he's digging to the body now. Good right he said, to the body. He took my best headshots. Let me let me dig to the body. They're both digging to the body. 
Gordon, nice. Gordon Smith's done a nice job in the latter part of this round. And a nice spin move for Gordon Smith to get Greer against the rope. I, I think Greer's getting gassed here. Breathing through his mouth, throwing oh, arm punches. And Greer oh. keeps sticking his tongue out. It's going to end up in the third row if he's not careful. And I don't want to see that. <laughs> Chopping left hand from Gordon Smith. Final 10 seconds. Got to give it up for Gordon Smith. He was knocked down in the first 30 seconds of the round. And he won the last part of the round. Good. Hey. Let's go with the box back. Look. Drag face. Hey. Let's go with the box back. Come here. Hold this. Here. Hold this tower right there. That's hot, man. Hold you got to do talking. Okay. Grease, grease. Hey. Right okay, listen. Listen. Move. Move. Listen. Well, here it is. Right uppercut. Barry called it. Beautiful shot off the ropes. I think we saw that in the very first round, if you remember. There was a right uppercut that we replayed. Yep. And again, it was almost as if Gordon Smith was tilted a little bit when he got hit with that punch. So his balance wasn't good. And we were doing a little bit of a dance. Wow. It's a wild one, guys. Yeah, it is. And, and that knockdown happened in the first 30 seconds. And like I said, you got to give it up for go, Gordon Gordon's Smith. He not only survived, he, he won the last part of the round. I still made it a 10 minute round. Show stats tell us that in the last minute of the round, Smith, Gordon Smith out punched Greer. So this is round six. But now it's an uphill climb for Gordon Smith. Eight round fight. And you gotta figure that was a 10-8 round. Yeah, I have Greer ahead significantly, maybe a little wider than you guys, but I think Gordon Smith's gonna need a knockdown or a knockout at this point. I had it even going to that round. Now, of course, I have Greer in front by two points. You mean you got Greer ahead or got I mean, Greer ahead by two points. Smith, okay. I got, I got Smith ahead. All right, we're all over the map. Good. <laughs> oh, good left nice. hand and another right hand. Uh, Greer's chin is certainly holding up. He's been hit with some big shots. He has. Looks to me like Smith has got better shape. Well, he looked, like he, was getting, country, looked yeah. like he was getting tired earlier in the fight, but right now he seems to have perhaps a little more in the tank than Greer. Still sticking his tongue out. Not usually a good idea. What a terrible habit. Yeah. Good right hand slipped in by Gordon Smith, and now Greer's in retreat. But even when Greer gets hit flush, his legs are under him. He keeps his balance well. Oh. And that dropped him just like that. Walk right into that right hand. We've been talking about it. And that's it. It's over. Just like that. He timed him beautifully. You beautifully. Re you referenced that, Steve. Yes. And he's got that pillow that says, night, night. Don't blink. <laughs> been, been carrying blink. that around for the last couple days. And there was no doubt about that right hand. So much for punching like a white paper bag, because that's what he said about <laughs> yes, it. That's right. Wow. I mean, he really put him to sleep, and he brought, <laughs> brought the pillow out. Well, Gordon Smith had a lot to say all week, as Raul said about the punching power. I'd say he's been humbled. I would say so. Still being tended to is James Gordon Smith. That was That's Greer. A, quite a shot. It was a combination. He stepped in and Greer threw the punch and 
That's always a deadly combination. He, he, oh, yeah. he, he timed it beautifully. I'm sure we're going to see it right there. He, he caught him coming in. He really, oh, he was open up. He was open for that right counter the whole time. Yeah, he was. Yeah. A little bit of redemption for manager Andrew Zach, who was was screen right and George Hernandez because they were with Granados when Granados lost that very close decision to Adrian Broner. And here it comes. Wow. He, really, he just beat him to the trigger. They yeah. both let right hands go. And you know the rule in boxing when a fighter gets dropped face first and falls that in that direction, he doesn't get up. No, that's right. He just now is getting up off the stool. I mean, that was, you know, it, it's not pretty, but that's the way to draw it up. And you know, we've seen some spectacular knockouts on Showbox in the last half year or so. This one's right up there, up there with them. Absolutely. Wow. Abs absolutely. A at a time where it looked like he might be running out of gas. Yeah. It was right on the point of the chin, and that's why that's a spot you aim for when you're a big puncher. But give it up for this guy right here. Well, the pillow was uh, maybe he should have put it under Gordon Smith's head there. <laughs> but, uh, well, I'd say this. Michael Jordan just dunked on Isaiah Thomas. Yeah, that's, Chicago exa that's exactly over right. Detroit. That's, and he even had the tongue sticking out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Great point. All right, let's, uh, let's get to the center of the ring. We will uh, make it all official once again as uh, we go up to our ring announcer right now. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for both of the boxers in this ring, please. This contest came to a halt at two minutes, six seconds of the sixth round for your winner by way of knockout, Joshua Don't Blink Greer Jr. Well, an exciting ending to our first fight 